We're good. Hello, everyone. Do, 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 do. I love it. Hello, hello, hello. Happy Friday. Day three of live streaming to Facebook and YouTube. So I hope you all are having a fantastic Friday. I'm going to make sure that we're live and we are. Woohoo! I'm going to quickly share it over in just our few groups that we are in and I'm going to be so excited because we're making a really fun frosted nativity scene today here on Makers Gonna Learn um, show and we also have a little gift from our friends over at Craftbox Girls in the bright pink box. I cannot wait to be unboxing this and talking all about what is in this box. It is going to be so so good. So I'm going to quickly just share out this video. So as you all are tuning in on Facebook, YouTube, all over the place, share with us where you're visiting from, share with us what you've got going on. And we cannot wait to be getting crafty. Yes. So yay, Sherry Rachel. Sherry says, hi from Fishers, Indiana. Hi, Elena Sherry. Elena says, hello from Chile, Wisconsin. Hello. Uh, Northern California, Oregon, Missouri. We have people from oh, everywhere already. Oh my goodness. Well, happy, happy Friday, everyone. I'm so excited that you're here and that you're able to get crafty with us. Today, we're making this fun little nativity with one of our Makers Gonna Learn cut files. We are using the glass vase that you um, have seen all over. I've seen these at Hobby Lobby since I feel like the beginning these of time. These glass blocks are everywhere. Yeah, it's a it's a standalone Hobby Lobby product um, and it's so good. Now one thing I do want to share with you all is the Krylon Frosted Glass Finish. The Krylon um, Frosted Glass Finish is so nice. It gives a professional look to your um, glass it just it's wouldn't so look easy. as good if it wasn't frosted right so it's so awesome we cannot wait to be able to frost this we're gonna frost it in here we have some poster board and it's gonna be a lot of fun so as you all are tuning in share with us where you're visiting from let us know what you've got going on and again i do want to let you all know we are celebrating two years of makers will learn so Thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone, for all of the support. And if you want to take advantage of our sale, be sure to use the coupon code. Um, it is FLASH30 for $30 off a year membership. And we're so excited. So you get instant access to all the goodness. And if you all do not know, Fridays are some of the best time to join the membership because that is going to help you get crafty all weekend long. We cannot wait. So we're super excited yes. about that. And Tanner, I didn't even think about it. Rachel. The frosted glass needs to dry. So right. I can get our little heat gun or maybe yeah. we could do that first thing. We'll do it first. It We've got, let's do that first and then we'll unbox the glue gun and get started with our project in Cricut because we are using some like Cricut um, foil vinyl. It's really so pretty. good. It's very, very nice. Um, and there's a lot to do for this project, but it is very minimal and we love it. So yes, as you guys tune in, share with us where you're visiting from. If you're brand new here, let us know whether you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, wherever you're at. Um, our YouTube channel just hit 108 amazing friends. So thank you, thank you for all of those. 108,000. 108,000. You said 108. Yes. Well, yeah, uh, so funny. Um, but yes, 108,000 amazing friends. So thank you, thank you, thank you guys. So That's amazing. I'm gonna sit this finished one over to the side, which is an adorable one. I love the little lots that's in these battery packs. Um, really let's, cute. Woo, as I drop them, let's go ahead and take the second camera just so I can share with you guys what we're using for today's project. So we've got a few different things that I wanna share with you. We've got our amazing, amazing frosted glass finish. You can pick this up at your local craft store. It is a special purpose Krylon um, product, so that is really good. This is kind of like Cricut's foil H, um, like adhesive backed vinyl. Um, it has this adorable look to it, so it's very nice. It's a really pretty gold. It's so different. Nice. It's perfect for Christmas, though. Yes, yes. So this is going to be great for this project. And then we're using just any battery operated string lots that you want. These just do not come with batteries, so we just have the batteries sitting right here. So that's going to be good. We're going to be ready to get crafty with that. So guys, we do have a lot to conquer in today's project, but we're going to be um, really excited for this. And Rachel made a good point. We do have to let this draw. So I'm going to sit it up on the side right here to be able to lightly coat it. Now, make sure you're in a well-ventilated area. We can open the door, you know, if it gets too much and let this circulate. 
Um, so you just want to be careful about it. But first things first is you want to shake it up. Now I would one, move the mat too. Yeah, yeah. Let's move brand new we'll cricket move mat. Our brand new cricket mat out of the way. One of the things that I want to make sure you all are aware of is that um, you know you want to sit it up like this because if you lay it down on the side, you're gonna have to pick it up to you know do the back and things. So we want to just be able to leave it just like we're gonna Good sit tip. it. And then we're gonna be able to move the poster board around and spray it. So just shake this up right here. I think I'm gonna give the other camera so okay. they can see the yeah, effect. Yeah, let's do it, let's yeah. do it. So we love that, so yay. Um, so I'm just gonna start probably at the top. It's gonna be pretty good. Um, and it's gonna be really, really awesome. So you can, you know, test it out on any, any piece just to make sure it's flowing. But you know, once you are good to go, you're gonna be able to just start spraying. But this does have some hot odor. So again, outside is preferred. We cannot live stream outside and have a setup without, you know, audio issues or things like that. I'm also gonna remove my nice sunglasses. Oh, good precaution. Yes, right? I know, how awesome is that? So we're super excited, but yay, everyone. I love doing the glass blocks as well. They are a lot, a lot of fun. So we love that and we cannot wait to share with you guys exactly how to do it. So if you guys are excited, we are just going to, you know, start, kind of start spraying right here and just, you know, giving it that coat and it will just start drying. Um, and we're just going to coat it. And I don't know if you guys can even tell, but yeah, we're just coating this right here. And as we coat, we're just going to spin it. We're just coating it right like this, super easy, and it's awesome. So this goes on very lightly. Again, if we need to get the heat gun out, we can. Oh, look at that. Look at it, it's already, oh my gosh, Rachel's got our special cameras. And I'm just coating this around, and I mean, you're already seeing the it being coated, so it's really easy. And Elaine says, I looked for that spray at Michael's and they were out. Oh no, definitely Amazon. Check, yes, definitely check Amazon. Yes, always check Amazon. But look at that. Look at this. Ooh, I need to keep it in frame. Look. That's cool. I it just is love really that awesome. look. I do too. And as it dries, like wow. So yes, it's so good. Now this is just like etching. So if you do have etching cream, this would be like rubbing etching cream all over your glass vase for um, you know 15, 20 minutes and oh, washing it off. That would take a lot of etching cream. That would take a lot, a lot of etching cream. But guys, I mean, this is here and you again, just wanna let this dry. What I love is it gives it such a matte finish and it is just really good. So you just wanna be careful and I'm gonna spin it around just a little bit more to share with you guys looking. Love that. I Ooh. That would take a lot of etching cream. Right, right, right. And you right, guys right. can uh, get this glass block block at any craft store. Michael's Hobby Lobby. I'm sure other ones have it. Oh gosh, of course, yes. Amazon. Yes, Amazon. It's just glass blocks. And just make sure it's a glass block that you can put, you know, this in. So this is kind of what we're doing on today's live stream. If Cute. you guys are just tuning in, it is so adorable. We're going to cut this out. This is a Maker's Gonna Learn cut fall. We are celebrating two years at Makers Gonna Learn. Tomorrow is our official two-year anniversary, so I'm super excited about that. So I'm gonna scoot this over to the side. You don't have to touch it when it's on poster board because you can kind of just scoot it around, move it around, um, and we're super excited about that. Now, guys, how is everyone doing on this Friday? They seem to be doing well. Miss Stephanie just said, Hi, Miss could Stephanie. you use this with a stencil on a window? You could, you could do that. I don't know how well it would look on the window or see or things like that, but yes, you can totally feel free to incorporate the window um, and a stencil. We could have done it, you know, on here, but we did not want to do that because we want to incorporate some type of vinyl um, and things like that. So that's a great, great question. Um, but we love our nativity scene. And especially when you have the string lots and things like that, you want it to be able to pop off and, you know, be able to see it. And it's just going to look great. It looks a little kind home. of matte and muted yes, in there when yes. it's all... And it's it just really is lit up. You can't really see the, the string of lots, but you just see the little pops of lots. So we love that. And so Tanner, for those fun. who joined in late, what is the spray that we use? That's a great question. So we'll show it on the, the second camera. It's the frosted glass finish from Krylon. So frosted glass, you can use this, you know, it says it enhances privacy, reduces glare, and provides decorative finish interior. Draws in 30 minutes or less. So this right here, 
you know, you can pick that up today. It is a special purpose Crylon product. So feel free to check this out on Amazon or anything like that. Um, but we're super excited. So yes, people, again. And people are also saying you could probably get this at the, at a home improvement store. So yeah. Yes, probably. Those. I'm not sure. Amazon would probably be the best place just because you won't have to go hunting and you may, you know, lose out on that special. Um, you may not have it. So it is a lot of fun. The lots we're using are from Mainstays. So from Walmart. Um, they're really great. It is just 18 lots per string, um, battery operated string lots, and they are so adorable. And they're they're kind of like the fairy lots. At all. They're not expensive at all. They're like fairy lots, and it's going to be a lot of fun. But guys, it is our two year anniversary here at Makers are Going to Learn. So, woohoo, woohoo. We are so excited to celebrate with you guys. Um, so, if you guys are super excited to celebrate, um, be sure to take advantage if you're not already a Makers Going to Learn member by joining our amazing community for. $30 off using the coupon code FLASH30. That is going to end on Monday, so feel free to take advantage of that. Join, get our yearly membership. There's tons of bonuses in there for you, so definitely do want, not want to miss out on that. It's the best time to join. Yes. Not for Christmas. So many Christmas files. We're making Christmas projects just like this every single day, and we cannot wait. But in this adorable box, we have a gift from our friends over at Craftbox Girls. Um, Lynn Lilly with Craftbox Gr Girls is one of my dearest friends, and she is so sweet. I'm going to remove my dress um, from here so we just don't have anyone worried about it. I don't really get freaked out about it, but I think people get freaked out about it for me. So with that being said, I'm just going to remove that, and we are going to unbox her amazing little box from us because she is launching a very new product that I am so excited to support and kind of unbox today. So I'm super excited. So this is it. We're just going to open it up and we are just so excited. So this right here is her brand new glue gun. How incredibly awesome is that? We're so excited for Lynn. Lynn has partnered with Surebonder to create this amazing glue gun. It is cordless. Um, I'm so excited. And um, it launches today, guys. So this is kind of like a first look at the glue gun. It is launching today um, over on her Facebook and things like that. Um, and we we're just so excited to take a peek at it. So let's go ahead and open it up. We're going to remove this. <gasps> guys, look, here it is. I'm so incredibly excited for her. Look at the confetti on it. <laughs> this is so love adorable. I love the colors. I love it. Rachel, you're going to love this color glue gun. Mm -hmm. This is technically a mini glue gun. It is cordless. I've never used a cordless glue gun. Have you, Rachel? Uh, no. I know. I'm so excited. You're going to be seeing this in videos. Um, so for it has a strong bond. It has two minutes of working time when you take it off the um, stand. And it's from Surebonder. So Lynn Lilly by Surebonder. Um, and if you've not watched Lynn, she has hosted a ton on the Michaels Facebook page. She's been in the crafting world forever, and she's just so much fun. So this is technically a mini hot glue gun, but I think it, I would consider it, it like looks a medium pretty size. Good. It's, per, it's a big one. It's a big hot glue gun. But I'm going to go ahead and open it up, and I want to kind of review what it feels like here in a minute. I'm going to open that um, in my little PR package. We never get PR packages, Rachel. I feel so special. Thank so you, Lynn, cute. for thinking of us. Um, this has many, and everybody's seen Surebonder. It's such a, one of the best brands in hot glue. Um, so there's so many different ones for fabric. You've got them for, you know, pink. You've got them for blue. You've got them for glitter. I bet you all did not even know there was that many different, different ones. Love that. Oh my gosh. And then we even get a, a silicone mat, which you cannot go wrong with a silicone mat ever. Um, so we love that, a glue Look gun. at all that stuff. I know, it's so sweet. Now look at this. So we've also got um, a little thing here. I'm not really sure what you're supposed to do with this one, but um, it's, oh, wait, 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 wait. I had another piece here. I think this somehow goes in here, uh, somehow, but i um, not really sure what you, you do with this. There, it has a glue gun on it. If anyone knows what to do with this tool, let me know. Because I would be, I do not. I do not either. Um, but I'll have, to, I'll have to ask Lynn. Oh, look, Rachel, there's just more gifts. It just gifts. keeps on coming. There's just more gifts in here. How sweet. Thanks, Lynn, Lily, team, and Sherbonder for this amazing product. But let's go ahead and take a look at the glue gun real quick. I just had to feature it on the show today because I'm so excited for my dear friend, Lynn. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just open this up. Can I pop it open? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're just gonna pop this bad boy open. It feels 
doesn't look very mini to me. It, it is like not like soft. mini. Guys, the so retail for this is $19.99. And it just launched today. So if you are like, I want one of these trendy hot glue guns, um, you can grab it today. I've put the link down below to surebonder.com slash Lynn Lily to get, look at this. Look at this. Okay, it, this is, does not feel like a mini glue gun, but one thing I'm so excited. First of all, this is really nice um, to squeeze it. Nice grip, even for, for my hands. Um, but look, look at this fine tip. This tip is everything. Whoa. You guys are going to love, 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 love this tip. So here's the glue gun. So adorable. I'm thinking you're getting a quite a deal with this because they're technically under mini. But this is not a mini glue gun really at all, in my opinion. Or I've just been using some really small, large hot glue guns. I have no idea. So yes, we're going to be able to apparently... Here's what you do. I don't know how long it takes to charge, but um, apparently these are like some of the safest hot glue guns on the market um, from Surebonder. Oh my so, gosh, I love that it has like a little pad on the bottom to catch the drip. Yes, and this is silicone. So That's this is going to be able to just clean after the hot glue gun, you know, dries and whatnot. Because it always falls off. on the table. Little beads always. of hot glue always falls on the table. Exactly. So this is, yeah, this has a stand, which as you guys have seen a struggle um, on videos before because our hot glue gun cannot stand up or it's been beaten up. You guys know it's kind of crazy. Um, so yes, yeah, so this is, I've just plugged it in. So I think, I think it's going to be charging soon. I'm not too sure about it. I'm just go plug that in. Oh, there we go. So it, now it's plugged in officially and yeah, so we'll be able to charge and it has like the on and off button. Um, so that's good and it'll just kind of pop out. So again, you'll have two minutes of working time. Do we have anyone giving reviews on if they've used a wireless or huh. a glue gun before? Huh. How if, awesome. If you want it, the link is in the description. Yes, if you guys want to check it out, if you want to support Lynn, she is an amazing um, creator. She runs Craftbox Girls. They are awesome. And we've also got the, a silicone thing so we can put glue guns in here. We can open up a pack of, oh my gosh, this is glitter hot glue. Maybe the hot glue gun will warm up while we're doing the show. Oh my gosh, look, a whole thing of hot glue just like squeezed in here. I really don't think this is that mini of a glue well, gun. Well, I think it uses the mini sticks. It does use mini sticks, but it's a pretty decent size glue I gun. I think Tarita said that too, that it doesn't yeah. look like a mini, but it uses mini sticks. Yes, so that's nice. Um, but it has her name on it, so adorable, and it's an awesome color. Oh, okay, you can tell it's um, on by... The red, light. Mm -hmm. the light. It probably um, will go green when it's charged. Yes, I bet that's what it does. Um, so yeah, here's the on and off button down here, and um, it's pretty pretty awesome. So congrats, Lynn. We're gonna leave set this to the side as we finish our project, and maybe by the time we finish our project, it'll be charged a little, and we can test it out with that glitter glue gun or that glitter glue stick, excuse me, um, just to check in on our our little piece over here. Look at this. Um, starting to get tacky good. so I think in about 15 minutes or so we are going to be good to go but Rachel what is everyone saying on the show what is everyone commenting how many friends do we have hanging out over on YouTube we have 130 friends on YouTube hello. and 40 on Facebook how awesome well hello 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 we everyone we have some people saying they've had wireless glue guns Ooh. and they like it not this brand but they've had them okay and they really like okay those. That's awesome. Yeah, there's so many different cons to choose from, and it is so, so awesome. So, okay, if we're excited, we can just continue on and jump in over on the um, computer, and we can start Cricut Design Space right up. It's going to be awesome, and I cannot wait to kind of break down today's project. It's super easy, and we're really excited. So, this right here is the file we're working with. It is um, just the nativity. You can go over to Makers Gonna Learn and search for nativity um, and have a lot, a lot of fun because we are able to work with that frosted glass on um, a glass block and it is super awesome. So this is the file we're working with um, and we've just uploaded it from the Makers Gonna Learn cut file area. If you guys have not already been over to the Makers Gonna Learn cut file area, Go over, check it out. You're going to be able to download so many amazing cut files. So many. It's like 1,500. I know. I know. It's so good. I'm super excited for the mandalas, you know, all the food. We have the new files. Guys, we have over 400. It's probably closer to five. We probably should start saying five. Yeah, there's like 500 cut files just for Christmas. Exactly. So there's so many good ones. Bah Humbug. 
um, deer head. I mean, just look at this. You could do all your Christmas cards, print and cut Christmas cards and easy, and then add in the amazing um, picture of the family in there. If you're not wild about having the family picture on there or anything like that, it's going to be a lot of fun to just do um, this. So how adorable is that? And it is awesome. So much fun. But yeah, so we've already uploaded the cut file to, okay, look. Mr. and Mrs. Claus. That's the cutest. These are so adorable. Yes, and all of our members get access to the Cutfall Library. So our yearly members do get access to fonts, the commercial license, and those business um, or in those beginner and business courses. So it is a lot, a lot of fun, and it is so good. So if you scroll on down, you can see here, guys, that you can be a monthly member for nineteen ninety nine. A six month member for $17.99 or the best value gets locked in at $15.99 and you get three months free which is how you get the rate for $15.99. And that's before the sale today. Yeah. That's even so, before. Exactly. So if you select this tier right here you're going to be able to go ahead and use the coupon code or use the coupon code flash30 press apply scroll on up and you see you're saving an additional 30 so your typical membership is $191.88, but today you're saving 30 bucks. And so this will be your price, $161.88 for a year of makers gonna learn. So you get in and you will not have to pay for another year. And with that year membership, you get access to our font library, that commercial license. Every single member um, has access to the new cut files every single month for free if you're a year member and it's included. Um, the member only Facebook group, the free workshops and the full project tutorials. You also get our printable guide. So we just have so much value right here. Um, you can see our amazing training courses for our year members only. And then you also get all of the tiers of the year. You pay the least amount and get the most value. So that is a lot, a lot of fun. And we're super excited about that. So yay, it's a lot, a lot of goodness and Honestly, guys, even at full price, the membership is well worth it. So you guys will not even, you know, miss out on anything. It is so good. But yes, so let's go over Cricut Design Space. And we have our nativity scene right here. So what you would want to do is measure your piece or your glass block. And most glass blocks from the craft store is about eight inches wide by, let's see, I'm measuring how tall it is. So it's pretty much about almost a little bit, just like eight by eight. You can be sure to measure yours so that you can be, you know, careful about that and be ready to go um, with everything. It is so much fun. I uh, just love it. So you can do, you know, this one is already measured at five and a half by five and four. So if we wanted to go up maybe to, I don't know, you could do like a little bit by like six. I think that'll be able to fit pretty good right in the middle and then, you know, not look too big or too small. Um, and now, what we're going to do, since we're working with one piece of vinyl, we are going to be able to come over here to color sync. And we're just going to color sync this green layer right over here to the red. So this is going to be all one layer. It's going to be super awesome. And then we, what we did for the sample is we added in a little, a little star. Um, but you can go over to Makers Gonna Learn and find a star. Let's see if we can do that. So let's go over here. The, the, there's a cut file with some of those that I'm thinking of. Uh -huh. And it's the one that says, I don't sweat, I sparkle. Oh. I know we have some of those in that that might be cute. Yes. Oh my gosh, they would oh, be I adorable. Oh, I think that one right there, Crafting, brings out my inner sparkle. Yes. That one looks really cute. I cool. love that. So it's so good. Um, so we'll just go ahead and quickly download that. Then we'll be able to open that up. And then we're going to come over to Cricut Design Space. And at the time, you can just locate the cut file. And then you just want to drag it into frame. So you'll be able to quickly unzip that, drag and drop that cut file. And we always like to work in SVG. Now, guys, sometimes on occasion, you'll see our print and cut files, like our adorable Mr. and Mrs. Claus. Those cut files are only SVG. Um, and you will see that those are um, just PNG, excuse me, they do not have an SVG. Most of our cut files um, have both, but our print and cut files only come in our amazing um, PNG because all the colors 
would not be an easy layer and it would be very confusing um, to try to organize those layers. So that's why they only come in our adorable PNG because they're meant to be awesome and super simple. Cut, they're easier to work with. Too. Yeah, they're so much easier. So yes, so all we're going to do now is we're going to click on contour and now we are going to just contour out the crafting and things like that. If you don't want to do this, you could just slice out one of the stars. So either way you want, um, slicing would probably be easier. But if you've never worked with contour to really customize files and projects, um, you know, this is very simple. It's just a little, a little repetitive. A little time consuming, but that's okay. Sure. sure. Don't forget your eye, the dot on your eye. Oh, there. snap. Do, 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 do. But yes, yeah, so you can just click on all these very easily. And it's so good. It's not that time consuming. It honestly I mean, isn't. You're going pretty fast about it. And yeah. of course, it, just like everything else, the more you practice, the faster you get. Exactly, exactly. So, okay, now that, you know, it's done, you have your your star so you can kind of scale this up and for some reason there must be another piece somewhere that has not been selected so it's this dot right here look at that now we have wow. our adorable little star so we can size that up just a little bit position it down here and then we're going to go over to color sync once again and it is a lot a lot of fun so now we're just going to put it down here to this color and it is going to be good to go um, for our project. But last but not least, I want to have this go ahead and be able to cut. So it's going to be awesome. And one thing I do want to point out for today's project that's going to be different, we could use transfer tape for this. I think it would be okay. We use transfer tape on the sample, but it kind of took a little bit of our material off. So I kind of want to teach you all how to slowly master your amazing skills by not using transfer tape and being a little bit more patient with it. So it's going to be a fun challenge for both of us. And I saw the sweetest post in the Facebook group, Rachel. Um, someone was doing a project and they were doing a little vinyl project and they were having some trouble um, with the vinyl and they said, take it easy. Vinyl is forgiving. Yes. And they were kind of thanking me and Rachel for giving them so many tips over the little bit. And it was just so sweet. Um, and that was super, super nice. So And you do. Yes. It is. Vinyl is forgiving. Super and in projects forgiving. like this, Tanner's going to give you all a ton of little hacks and tips and tricks. Oh, yeah. But it's going to be a one hit wonder. Like if you don't yeah. get it down the first time, then you're going to peel up all of your spray. Right, you, right. So you've got to take it slow. So there's pressure, but there's not at the right, same time. Yeah. So yeah, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be a lot of fun. So while that is, you know, going, we've already got it all ready to go. So I'm not using transfer tape, so you don't have to set it up exactly, um, you know, how you have to, like when we are using transfer tape. Um, so either way you want to go about that is fun. So I'm just going to put this down just like so and we're just go lay it out here now this is again it's kind of like our full adhesive vinyl foil um i've worked with it a few times but it just looks so professional and it gives such a high-end look and totally donna says it. can you color sync on your laptop i don't think i've ever seen that option before yes it is at the top right layers panel um where you would click on uh color sync rather than layers and then you can do that so I was doing that on my computer so yes if I can do it on my computer you can do it on yours um, just look out for that so super super fun and it's really easy um, but yeah so now we're just gonna be able to load this into the machine and we'll be able to get that all set up so I'll just go ahead and load it in Rachel do we have the Martha blade in today we do have them what blade. happened so uh i was cutting uh what were we cutting what were we cutting what were we cutting i don't know i needed a, i needed a better blade and i didn't want to get guys this is so crazy i didn't want to get a brand spanking new blade because then I it would be too get, much but i wanted to get a blade that i knew was newer than the one that we had so that's what i, <laughs> I love it i love it well guys we're gonna use the vinyl setting we're gonna have a little bit more pressure i think it'll cut out fine but, um, you know, just always, if you are using a particular premium vinyl or something, see if they have a specific setting for it. But since we always use that more pressure anyway, we're just going to go ahead and press that flashing Cricut button after we set that. 
and it's just going to begin cutting so that's going to be a lot of fun but guys it's friday what projects are we working on are we getting festive for thanksgiving are we going to go all out and start getting ready for christmas what do you all plan on doing leave me a comment down here i want to um, check that out and read some of your comments if you're brand new here and never crafted with us let us know we're having so much fun and this is looking awesome this looks awesome over here how's the draw how's it look oh it's draw it's oh, like good. totally draw oh my gosh this is awesome this is this is just super super draw super draw you can do two coats if you wanted but this one looks really really good so frosted glass at no um, at all. Easy peasy frosted glass. So easy. Super simple. It's cutting out the star and we're going to be good to go. Look at that. Guys, this is a quick project. You all know we appreciate a quick project every time in it too. And next week, if you guys have not already marked it off on your calendar, if you have missed any of our live shows, you do not want to miss next week kicking off our amazing Christmas projects for the next two, three weeks. Next three weeks, we're transforming the house every single day for the next three weeks. So be able to tune in, get excited, get pumped. We have so many great projects coming to you. They're good. Yes, 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 yes. The team has been working hard on getting those ready and we're super excited. So and what is color sync? So that's where you can kind of uh, it, it's so you can just change the color. It's really easy to also just change the color, you know, where you know to change the color. But you can also go next to the colors panel to color sync, and uh, it's good for overwhelming. It's good projects. for overwhelming. And all you you just like kind of drag one color to another color, and it just kind of syncs all the colors up to one. Yeah. It's a it's another quick way. It's kind of one of those things where Design Space has its little tips and tricks to where you can get to the finish line eight thousand different ways, and it yes. really doesn't matter how you get there. You know. That is true. That is true. Okay, so this is really ready and likes to be stuck down. So it's a little bit interesting to weed, but it is super cool. Do, 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 do. Miss, um, let me see, who was it? Oh, I forgot. Oh, here it is. Paul said, being the first time home number, being a first time homeowner, I'm just focusing on Christmas this year. Me I don't blame too. You. I, our fall stuff is already down. Our fall stuff is already down. Yep. Took her down. Did you burnish, Tanner? I, I did, but what's happened is where it's the foil, and I would definitely recommend using that foil setting um, so it gets that deeper cut, but I think the vinyl setting will do us good. So we're just going to go through and weed nice and easy. Just try to make sure we get everything. We don't want to over weed, or excuse me, don't want to over um, try to weed it and go too hard. So like right here, it's not wanting to clip off, which is not great. Um, but yes, what you can do guys, if you have done this, like what we did today, is we can go through and just kind of take our little, our Cricut knife and we can just go around here. Especially because this is such, it's just like a straight line. It's such an easy one. And look, look at how easy it is to weed it. This is a craft hack for when you make a mistake. No big deals at all. You're able to just kind of work with what you got. And look, we're just taking it like a champ, guys. We're going to take it like a champ. Me and Tanner were talking about that crazy way that people weed. What did you say the method Oh, called? it's, um, <gasps> it's kind of like snap weeding. I believe uh, that's what they call it. That's like when you just take a corner and you just rip up as quick yeah, as you can. Like, like no whatever. it's supposed to be like a band-aid i don't know what but it's yeah. supposed to leave everything down that you need to be down i don't know yeah it i we've got to do a live stream and kind of test it um and kind of do that because i think it'd be crazy cool but yes so here we go just weeding away here I kind of love having issues just because we can kind of teach you all how to work with it. Because here's the deal, guys. We don't have any, without having to look hard in our stash, we don't have any of this retinally available to recut it. Um, and sometimes, you know, you'll see YouTubers, and I'll say we take fault for this too. Sometimes you see us make a mistake and we'll just be like, oh, we'll recut it. We don't try to work with what we got. But uh, today I wanted to work with what we got because it would take us a long time to try to get it 
um, you know, all ready to go. Um, and it is so good. Um, but here is what we've got. And we're just weeding away. So we're just going to weed this. And I'm kind of cutting it out on here. No biggie, no big whatsoever. No big deal. So we're just going to take this. You still have confetti on the table. That's I know. I love it. Lynn, you're making us have a party today. So adorable. But yes, yeah, so guys, be sure to support Lynn. Um, order her glue gun if you haven't. Um, if you need a glue gun and you want to try that one out with me, feel free. I'm sure we'll be seeing it in some other shows. So you can check it out after we you know, get it going. Um, I wonder how it's going to do. I hope it's charged so we can do some like test strips because it looks super precision um, and she's awesome. I'm so glad we were able to unbox it on the show today. But yes, we're just going to kind of work with what we've Tanner, you can say got. you cut this file out yourself <laughs> when people ask. Uh-huh. we we'll like, yep, I hand cut this. That is pretty funny. Just say, yeah, it was all me. Yeah, and the best part is for a file like this, it is supposed to look a little bit like hand cut, so kind of kind of works. But yes, so we're just going to be able to kind of pick this up. I'm glad this isn't too detailed of a nativity too. Like I really like some detailed nativities, but for this one, I really think it looks super simple and cute. I really like it the way it is. Yeah, me too. Super awesome. Oh, Shirley had a beautiful, sweet comment on Facebook. She said, hi, actually watching this for a few minutes while I grab some lunch. We'll have to watch the full video later. Thanks for all you do to keep us crafting at Makers and Learn. Oh, thank you, dear. I hope you all are all having a fantastic day, whether you're a member or not. I just love our community. And honestly, guys, being a member is truly the number one way to support us and just allow us to you know, continue to come and be here with you all each and every day. We love our members. So whether you're eating lunch like Cheryl um, or whatever you may be up to, thank you guys so much for all of the support. And I gave so much pressure, it just kind of took the whole thing with me. <laughs> so we're just going to master it little by little. Juanita said, Tanner has great patience. I would have tossed this by now. No. We Listen, we have to teach it. you guys too. Yeah, this is no big. Tanner could easy. easily throw me under the bus because I'm the one who chose the material, but he hasn't done that yet. Oh my gosh, no big. Well, so the thing is, I just don't think I even realized how much thicker this I was. I didn't even think that this was it's really foil. Like this doesn't thick. look like foil. Yeah, anything. this is this is the foil, and the reason you can tell is that this it'll have like a thicker, like dark gray backing on it oh. that looks different than Cricut vinyl. Um, and the material just feels a little different. It has a darker color. It's a very small piece to even be able to catch. But it, this um, this goes to show you that like material settings matter a whole lot. Yeah. Even though this is a piece of vinyl, it looks and feels the same. Right. And that's one of the things it's not. you do want to kind of be careful with your scrap bins to kind of organize it by special materials and things like that. But these are also things you learn just as you, as you crick it. Um, you'll learn, you know, what your favorite materials are and things like that. And you know, in the beginning, it was kind of like snapping out like super easily. But yeah, so no biggie at all. Just something fun we can work through together. And Tina, we haven't done test cuts in years. We might used to do test cuts, but we don't ever do test cuts anymore. We go for it. Yeah. and It's kind of like, I, I would think of it as like someone who bakes a long time, like my grandmother. She doesn't even ever use like measuring cups or anything e anymore. She eyeballs it all. Like she, she would never test a batch of cookies before she made them. And I think like me and Tanner, well, well clearly we don't know what we're doing because the best part, we chose the wrong one. But when you get in a groove like this, like you, you know, you do pretty, you do pretty well the, without test cuts. The best part for Cricut is like typically no test cuts needed if you just select the right material. Right. We we just wanted to go with a regular vinyl setting day because we we thought it would, and it's totally fine. Um, we just know that you know, for specialty material, we need to select it. Like Cricut has this as a setting. This is totally a maker's gonna learn error. This is not a software error. This is not a Cricut error. Like, you know, we just chose the wrong the wrong thing. Now again, we can go and cut this out again, or I'm just kinda, I'm just kinda hacking it. We're almost done. It's no biggie at all. Just and since we're not even using like transfer tape or anything, this is gonna be easy. 
Okay. And hey, we're just giving our glass block more time to dry. Yes, Rachel. This is all a God thing. Cup half full. This is a God thing. Mm -hmm. Well, it's the nativity, you know. Yeah, it's, God it's is happening. just allowing us to have this extra time because if we rush through it, maybe maybe our project wouldn't have as great results. You Don't just cut never through know. baby Jesus. Do not, do not, do not, Tanner. Please don't. Um, but yes, yeah, so, okay. So we're almost, we're almost done. Go take this little scrap piece out right here. And this is why everybody needs this craft knife. If anything, this is an infomercial for, infomercial for this amazing knife because it does so well. I need to change the blade on it. Oh, it's she's doing great. She is still with us. I almost used it to do surgery on Joe today. He what? has a terrible splinter in his <gasps> thumb that oh, he let no. skin grow over. Ooh. And I told him if he'd let me, I'll, I'll get a brand new blade Rachel. and hack it up <laughs> and try and get that out. And he was like, I'm good. okay. <laughs> I was like, okay, suit yourself. Suit yourself. The surgeon's back anytime. Just call me. <gasps> Rachel, I'm making cookies for our get together tonight. That's what Joe said. I cannot wait. I'm excited. You need to make a double batch because oh, one batch is not going to do it. No, they're not. They're not not bossing you around, but they're so good. Like, you need to There's a lot of people coming. There is. I'm kind of excited that I'm not hosting or cooking. I'm just going to bring some cookies and I, then hunt request I heard that Mama Creech is making barbecue chicken. Um, With macaroni. Ooh, fun. I hope she knows how many people actually show If you guys up. don't know who we're talking about, you know the guy who made the uh, glitter tumbler turner. That yes, is everybody Hunter. was like, he's so adorable. Yeah. And I'm like, wow. Yeah, that is Hunt. Hunter, Hunter's yes. mama invited us all invited over. Invited us all over. We for, when for Hunter him, had his rotary, no, excuse me, his shoulder surgery. Rotator we all, cuff. Rotator, no, it no. was a rotator. It was Isn't something. that what your dad's having his surgery mm -hmm. about? Lord, I can't keep up. Anyway, um, he had a shoulder surgery, but for like weeks he couldn't leave his house, so we went over to keep him company. And she said, "Oh my gosh, this is so fun to have my my children all home, and then all they're his children's friends." They're her children's friends, so she invited us all over again. But yes, I guess I have to bring Bluebell ice cream per Hunter's request. Request, and I'm also bringing Monopoly. All I'm going to say, I hope we play Monopoly. Me and Hunter's really rooting for it. Um, but his mom wants to play Phase Ten, and I've never played Phase Ten. Have you? Um. Yeah. Is it fun? <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's. It sounds like Mama Creech. Okay. Okay. And I miss oh, I miss his little sister. She is a hoot and a half. She is. She's good. But yes. Okay, we're so this is my DIY cutout skills. DIY. We're gonna start with our largest piece first. Yeah. So what is everyone saying in the comments, Rachel? They're saying they'll be right over to Mama Creech's house. Oh my they're, gosh, they're yes. With us. Yes. They're gonna Come eat on, some guys. of your cookies. My cookies. We're gonna do a live stream about my cookies because there, uh, it's not my recipe, but it's a recipe I found, and I'm go obviously reference um, where we got the recipe. But it is so stinking good. And Barbara, this is just a um, <laughs> what is it? Nativity. It's just a nativity cut file. Just search yeah. that on the site. Oh, that's yeah. cute, Tanner. Rachel, it is crooked as can be. Is it? I can't. That is not crooked. Well, she's down, so it's a little crooked. I don't think so. But yeah, from it's right supposed here to be. Up. It's supposed to be a little bit. It's supposed to be. <laughs> talk me up, Rachel. Talk me up. Thank Tanner, you. I mean, look. Oh my you gosh. You couldn't get any straighter if you tried. So sorry, guys. Tanner, I'll it, look at it, it like this. Not I'll just at hold all. it. It looks great. About? Well, I mean, it would have been nicer if it was a little better. Better, but it's okay, guys. It's okay. Sometimes the you just gotta roll with it. Crooked. Right, right, sure. <laughs> um, but You're perfect, Tanner. Don't even. Rachel. Yeah. Rachel. What? No. <laughs> Oh, no, this is kind of fun. You just kind of place your stuff. No, Melanie, I don't, and this is, Tanner knows that. I don't love Monopoly because it always gets too heated, and I get so angry. If I have not eaten, I, oh. I bet I could just bite somebody's head off because Monopoly's hard, and it's an understatement to say that Tanner is competitive in a way that, oh. in a way that he acts like he's not. Like, he acts like he doesn't care. But then, if you land on his hotel, he will bankrupt you in a minute. Whoa, that, that <laughs> that's just being, that's just running my business. You just gotta, I, you gotta pay when you wanna, you wanna ride the train, you gotta pay, Rach. You gotta pay to ride the train. Um, I like Monopoly because you really get to test. Now, what we do as a friend group is we have a few set rules 
that you like if you want to try to convince someone to sell property to you, you have to do it on your turn um, and things like that, which I appreciate. But um, overall, we just, I, I love Monopoly, but you also have to know the person. Guys, we're done. Yeah. That was easy. That wasn't bad. I had to freaking hand cut this out and it still was pretty darn easy. Yeah. What's everyone saying? We gotta saying? put the little lights in though. Well, yeah, we're not. We're, we're not. Aw, Kathy says, but seriously, I think it looks great. Um, I think so too. How sweet. You can't even how see sweet. that it's crooked, Cindy says. Aw, thanks. Okay, so here's the lots we're using. We've been having quite a few questions about that. I, I saw a few pop up mm -hmm. um, in the beginning of the show. Um, and it's so good. So what, how many people do we have hanging out with us today? 136. Love and then we've got 35 on Facebook. Facebook. How fun. Okay, we're gonna open these up. And Just Pat, like we were cutting it with the knife because we didn't cut it on the correct setting and it yes. didn't cut that far down. But Tanner definitely made it work. We, we did. So yeah, when you're using you know, premium vinyls and things like that, just make sure you have it on the right setting. That's just the tip of the day. Um, and it'll be all, all good to go. So yay. Super fun. Everyone, Tanner, everyone loves it. You're being way too hard on yourself. I love it. Thanks, guys. And yes, awesome. Miss Elaine, the lots are from Walmart. They're Walmart probably, mainstays. I'm going to say they're like under four bucks. Yeah, like, like 488 or something. These or can't something. be expensive. No. And they're like little fairy lots. So feel free to use these in all kinds of different projects. I'm just going to go through and kind of untangle it so we can retangle it inside. The well, little. we're not going to tangle no. it, but it's going to tangle. Yeah. But we're not going to do it on purpose. We just don't want it to be all close oh look at this look at this how adorable oh yeah look at that and see yay now we're just gonna start sticking it in and these are so much fun guys this is a, such an That's easy really project cute. you can go ahead and make one of these tonight and you probably have pretty much everything on hand how adorable i love this and again guys our makers and learn members get the artwork you're gonna be able to make this super easily and have a lot, a lot of fun with it. Um, I'm just going to take this right here, pop this, pop this, and voila! Check out, you'll put your little box behind it. I love this right here. It is so good. We got this at the craft store. You can get it um, at all the different you know craft stores. This one's at Hobby Lobby. And I've seen this one at Hobby Lobby for years. For some reason, they're saying you can get these at Home Depot. Really? The glass block? Yeah. How I'm awesome. Let's have that third camera if it's still available. I'll show it's them still on the, available. I'll show them on the, the third camera as well. How adorable is this? I love it. I love it. I love it. So amazing and super easy to be able to kind of showcase your adorable glass block. And yeah, so all this is, guys, is we use the frosted glass finish, which is so good. Um, and it's awesome. Oh, as soon as Rachel focuses, I know. It, as soon as I I'm fixed sorry. It. Here, I'm. I'm sorry. If you just want to focus on this for a quick second, Can it, is it still focused over there? Okay. Whoa. I'll put it. Give me it. a second. I'm sorry. I'm okay. Sorry. There we go. Thanks, Rachel. Sorry. Um, no worries. This is the Krylon frosted glass finish. It's so good. Um, it's actually to kind of, um, you know, give your windows a little special something something. Which, speaking of which, okay, this is maybe a TMI, but this is a good conversation. I have blinds on my window in my bathroom with like the toilet. So like in the toilet room. But like, oh, whoa, I, whoa, whoa. I, what are you talking about a toilet room? I've missed this. I, I, I don't, I, I'm just, I'm just what? talking. I like the light that comes in from the window. So sometimes I'll oh. open said window in there. Okay. But like, this could be some, a nice little thing that you could like put on a you window. You mean so people don't see you using the bathroom? Correct. Right. Correct. Yeah. And then, you know, you'd have a little bit more privacy. All you'd have to do is what? Tape it? Tape the window tape up? It. Yeah. Yeah. Spray it? Spray it. Done. You're, you're good. You're good. So, yeah, I love this stuff. It's really good. You can do a few coats if you want it thicker. But look at this. is a one coat, guys. We were able to spray this live at the beginning of the show. We are able to unbox the Lynn Lily um, hot glue gun, which is so stinking adorable. And it is so good. Um, we're really, really excited for Lynn and all the things that she has going on. I'm just really, really thrilled for all of her um, endeavors all the time. And you guys can check out the glue gun and watch her little video on it. She's and so adorable. The lots are just from Walmart. Yes, mainstays. We Here's don't the have packaging. the link for it. We do not. Just Walmart, mainstays. String lots. String lots. They're kind of like berry lots, too. You can find them at. Uh, I found these at Target, too, for like $6. I so think, I think at Walmart, they would be 
Probably in the same section where you find those uh, battery overhead candles. Yes, so like the candle section, all the things like that, you'll be able to find this over here. But it also, guys, we're celebrating two years at makersgonnalearn.com. Woohoo! We love it. Um, and to celebrate, we have $30 off. And again, you all are invited to our Black Friday extravaganza happening on Black Friday. It is going to be a six hour free event. We'll have more details coming very soon. We are kicking off next Monday with some amazing crafting um, and getting you guys super excited for the holidays. I cannot wait. We have a whole week of projects for a mantle. Um, so we'll be showcasing the mantle all next week and I cannot wait. So get pumped up for that. We cannot wait to share it with you. Um, and it's going to be a lot, a lot of fun. Everyone loves how this turned out, sir. So I love it. Yeah. It's so, it's, it's minimal. Guys, you can make it this weekend. It takes two, three products that you probably don't already have. Use whatever vinyl you want and get ready for a crafty good old time. So if you all are pumped up for it, I know I am. Be sure to go over and give Lynn some love for her hot glue gun. Cannot wait to set it up and use it in a very soon craft project. I bet we'll be able to use it next week mm -hmm, with all will. the hot gluing yeah. we're going to be doing. So it's going to be really good and I cannot wait to share it with you. So I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. I'm sure we'll have to pop back in tomorrow to celebrate official two years. There may be a giveaway up my sleeves. So hope you guys get pumped up and we'll see you back here real soon. But until then, take care and we'll see you in the member only Facebook group. And if you're not a member, what are you waiting for? Become a member, member today and have a lot of crafty fun. But thanks so much, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!